All right then, so let's create a brand new solid application. So I've gone to solidjs.com and if you go to guides and then getting started, you're going to end up on this page right here. And if we scroll down, we can see how we can set up a brand new solid application. Now you can use JavaScript or TypeScript if you wish, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to be using JavaScript purely because I want to keep the barrier to the series quite low and I don't want to assume everyone already knows TypeScript. But if you prefer to use TypeScript, that's fair enough. I'm going to use this command right here. TypeScript users, you can use this one, but essentially we want to copy up to this bit right here because we're going to name our application something else. So we're going to be using dgit to basically grab a solid JS template, a starter template. So copy that little command there, go to wherever you want to create this project in a terminal and then paste this in. We're going to call this ninja hyphen merch. Doesn't matter what you call it, to be honest, press enter. And this is going to start to install a brand new SolidJS project for us. All right, so once it's done that, we can CD into that new folder, Ninja Merch. So CD Ninja hyphen Merch, like so. And we want to install all the dependencies now. And we do that by typing npm install and pressing enter. That's going to install all the project dependencies for us. And then once we've done that, I'm going to open it up in VS Code by typing code space and then full stop, press enter. And it's going to open up this starter project for us right here. So let me just zoom in a little bit so we can see everything a bit clearer. All right. So let me just take a couple of minutes now to walk you through this starter application and then we'll fire it up and preview it in a browser. So first of all, we have the node modules folder for all of the project dependencies, pretty standard. Then we have the source folder, which is where you'll be writing about 99% or more of your code. It's in this folder. You're going to make all of your components any style sheets and probably any other helper files as well. Any assets like images can go inside the assets folder if you want to use them in components later down the line. So to begin with, in this source folder, the starter project already has a few files which will run quickly through. So the app.jsx file is a solid JS component. And in fact, it's the root component, meaning it's going to sit at the very top of the component tree. Now, at the minute inside this file, we've got some imports at the top. We have a component function and a JSX template returned from that function. And this template ultimately gets compiled and injected into the DOM so we can view it in a browser. Also, notice that we export the component function and that's so we can import the component into other files later on if we need them. Now, we're going to talk more about this file and components in general in the next lesson. For now, let's move on. So we also have the app.module.css file, which is a CSS module. And that's used to apply styles that can be scoped to the app component. So if we open the app component up again, we can see that we actually import that CSS module and they're used to style this component, the template. All right, so the index.css file is a global style sheet for the entire application. So any global styles go in here. The index.jsx file is the file that essentially kickstarts the whole application and it does that using the render function right here that we import from solid. So we grab an element from the HTML page, which coincidentally is over here outside of the source folder. This is the HTML page that gets sent to the browser. And if we open it up, we can see that there's actually pretty much no content in it at all, except this div right here with an ID of root. And it's got no content in it because SolidJS uses the render function we just saw to ultimately inject our templates into this div. So if we go back to the index.jsx file, we grab that root element from the HTML page right here. And then down at the bottom of the file, we use that render method to render the app component into that root element. And remember, the app component is that component we saw a minute ago, app.jsx. So we're taking that component template and we're injecting it into this root element into the HTML page. We're also importing the app component up here so that we can use it in this file. And we import the global index CSS file too. Otherwise, they wouldn't take effect. So after this file, we also have an SVG logo that gets used in the app component. We don't really need that, so delete it if you want to. And that's pretty much it for the source folder so far. Outside of that, we have the HTML file. We also have the gitignore file, a JS config file, which contains some compiler options. 
our package files, a readme, and a Veet config file. So that's pretty much it for the starter project overview. Hopefully now you've got at least a basic idea of what these different things are. Next up, let's try and run this in the browser. So to run the project, open up a brand new terminal, make sure you're in the root directory, Ninja Merch in my case, then we're gonna run npm run dev and press enter. So this is gonna spin up a local dev server for us, which we can view at this address now. And if we view that in the browser, we can see we actually get an error over here and it says logo is not defined. And that's to do with me actually deleting that logo file. I also deleted the import inside the app.jsx file, but I don't think I deleted it where we use it in the template. So it's trying to use this thing right here in the source, but we don't have it. So let's get rid of it right here as well and save that. And now in the browser, we can see that works. So all of this content here, this is basically all of the content that was coming from that app.jsx file, all of the template, okay? So in the next lesson, we're gonna talk a little bit more about components and how we can use components to build up an application.